Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to set up and install PyHole on Debian 11. I'm also going to show you how to access the web interface and update PyHole as well. But first, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. So you're probably wondering, Nick, what is PyHole and why is it relevant? Well, PyHole is a DNS level ad blocker. So it's a network based ad blocker. So what it does is it uses Git, it uses scripts available on GitHub from people that have compiled a list of the known advertisers, which can bring that up to a total of 143,018 separate domains on advertisement lists. That's a lot of advertising domains. And what PyHole does is it does exactly what it says on the tin network wide ad blocking so it blocks any any traffic going to that uh, domain to a specific domain it goes hey look no don't bad so i'm going to show you how to install it and what it does in the background so let's hop over to our debian 11 virtual machine so what i'm going to do is just going to open up terminal run neofetch so as we can see here we're currently running on debian 11 or bullseye with the kernel 5.10 uh with uh, this is a clean install of uh, debian so it'll be running it's got the default 1600 packages this is this is what it's got now there are three ways to install well four technically there are four ways to install and run PyHole. You can do it with a one-step automatic ins automated install. You could clone and run it yourself. You could manually download the install and run it, or deploy a Docker container with PyHole. In this case, uh, I am going to run. I'm going to clone the repository and run the installer because it gives a bit more granular detail than just a quick install script. Now, with their one-step in automated install script. It pipes it to bash, meaning you can't actually see what's being installed. So in this scenario, we are going to be running, we're going to be cloning the repository and then install one. So first off, we need to do git clone hyphen hyphen depth one git uh, um, slash pi hole slash pi hyphen hole dot git. I hole. I need to install git. That's perfectly fine. That's the password. So the reason why it's called Pi Hole is because it is intended to be run on a Raspberry Pi, the single board computer Raspberry Pi, but it doesn't actually need to be. It can run on anything that is compatible. So in this case, Debian. Now, the Raspberry Pi operating system is based on Debian anyway, so it just makes sense. So once we've downloaded the install, once we clone the repository and gone from there, which as we can see we have, we need to cd into the directory. So it's going to be cd pi hole automated install. Check what's here, and it's going to be basic install or uninstall. In this case, we want to do sudo bash basic install.sh. Let's probably make this full screen. So, hey, look, PyHole is free. It's going to say, hey, look, this needs a static IP address to function correctly. Because it is a server software, it needs an IP address. It needs static to run. Because the last thing you want to do is have your DNS server change IP addresses. Now, that's fine if, you're the, if the device you're using has multiple DNS addresses as failovers, but... In the scenario you you're you've got a mobile phone connected and it only has one dns and that is pi hole if the ip address changes through dhcp suddenly you won't get you won't you won't use the internet so this is why the server needs to have a static ip address select yes you understand and in this in this case you can uh, choose an upstream dns provider i am going to use cloudflare just because I like Cloudflare and it's, it's not Google. It's not the Google overlord. 
So this is saying, hey, look, it, reply, it relies on the third party lists in order to block ads. I, we can add our own. But in this case, we're just going to use Stephen Black because it's a wonderful list. We are going to install the web admin interface. We're, we're going to install everything it wants to install and just say yes to everything. Now, as we can see here, it's just going through the list. It's just going through the setting up and installing, creating all the configs and just setting everything up. Now, this will take a minute at most. It is very lightweight. It, like I said, it, it is designed to be run on a Raspberry Pi. They are not powerful machines, but they are very utilitarian. So as we can see here, we currently have an IP address and a web interface. Hello and welcome back. So I had a small issue there where Debian just froze up, being, froze up on me and decided it didn't want to work. I don't know why. That is an issue I have not encountered before. So we're moving on. Keen-eyed amongst you may have noticed that the uh, RAM amount has changed as well. I uh, upgraded the virtual machine to 8 gigs of RAM just to uh, make sure there wasn't an issue. Anyway, we're going to carry on. So once you got the prompt at the end of the install process and said, hey, look, this is your IP address. This is the admin password. Remember this. If you don't, you're done dingus. In this case, we uh, went to the IP address and now we're going to go to the admin panel. Uh, go away. And we are going to get rid of this horrible, horrible not dark mode. I said we're going to get rid of this horrible, horrible not dark mode. And Firefox rose up. So in this case, we're just going to do this here instead. Go to here. Go to the admin panel. And as we can see here, this is what it looks like there's no clients, there's no nothing. What we're going to do is we're going to log in with the password that was provided. Put it in here, set login, and we're off to the races. I'm going to save this. So as we can see here, there's currently nothing being used. This is what's available. So I, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to update uh, the PyHole list just to make sure everything's there. Update this. Please do not navigate away. This is 143081. So even nothing has changed. Everything's fine. So you're probably wondering, what is so special about it? Well, this is what it's going to show you. For hey, look, these are the things I can see, but you're not using me. So what I'm also going to do is I'm going to come to my phone and I'm going to go into the network settings and then change the DNS on my phone, because I have this set to another one, uh, to a uh, another PyHole instance running on another VM. So I'm going to change the DNS to 1.7 and set the fail over to the other one, 1.2.168. Grab, do that. So if we now give this a quick refresh, we can see there are two devices. There's my telephone and there's also the local host. As we can see, there's already been 19 inquiries just on my phone alone, 44 inquiries. So if we go into a game that is run by, is riddled with adverts, such as Jetpack Joyride, there was a point in time where this game wasn't riddled with um, adverts. As we can see here, it is working in real time. It is currently 20 queries blocked it's currently blocking adverts left and right and that's it it removes the adverts from anything if we go to speedtest.net for example the well-known and used speed test site that is riddled with adverts there are none so we're just going to do a quick speed test And there we go. It's usually riddled with adverts, but there's nothing at all. And this is because of PyHole. It works. It is a wonderful piece, piece of kit. Now, because I've changed my DNS, the router's DNS, uh, everything that is currently on the network is being served. It's currently 78 block. It's just going up and up and it's just 
going up and up. It's blocking, it's blocked so far 45% of the requests. It has been minutes. It's been, it's been a minute since I've started it. So if we check the query log, it's going to show me what's been blocked and the response time. So as we can see here, most of these either belong to speedtest.net or Jetpack Joyride. So if we have a look at the 100, this is okayed, answered by one, 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 dot, one dot by Cloudflare, but most of these are being blocked. Our ad colony, as we can see, uh, supersonic ads. Got some Google APIs that are being let through, which is correct. It might cause some issues with your phone. But most of these are being blocked, which is good. Now, I, I notice a difference when playing Jetpack Joyride, for example. If my computer's not on, which is the virtual machine, which I use for my virtual machine, it goes, hey, look, I'm going to serve you with adverts. If my computer's off, it doesn't serve, it doesn't get served, it gets served with adverts. It is very wonderful. It is a wonderful tool. Anyway, this has been how to set up and install Pi-hole on Debian 11. I'd like to thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching. I'd like to thank my uh, patron uh, Ashley for being subscribed over at Patreon, where he ha where you can subscribe for little as dollar a month, get early, early access to videos. Anyway. I'd like to thank you very much for watching. I have been Nick, you have been amazing, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Goodbye.